What do you think is the biggest advantage of Tesla over the legacy automakers? One analyst says it's the Tesla's software. Here's why. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Shivdeep Dhaliwal has a very interesting story in Benzinga talking about Tesla's biggest advantage over legacy automakers. And uh, Tesla enjoys an advantage over legacy automakers, which is both clear and profitable. Luke Ventures managing partner Gene Munster said in a note on Monday yesterday. Munster estimates the electric vehicle maker Tesla will recognize $1.1 billion in deferred software revenue in 2021 from its supercharger network, internet connectivity, and full self-driving futures and over-the-air software updates. The number will increase to $1.5 billion from $1.1 in 2022. In the current calendar year, the automaker expects to recognize $751 million in deferred revenue, it said in a take a filing in 2019. Munster is of the opinion that full self-driving of Tesla is the driver of revenues for the Elon Musk-led automaker. The analyst assumes that both revenue and vehicle deliveries will grow by 40% annually. Here's what he said. As FSD, that stands for full self-driving, as FSD gets closer to full autonomy and users find it more valuable, we believe that the attach rate will increase as well as the price, explained Munster. The average selling price of full self-driving of Tesla is $8,500 in 2020, and the attach rate is 35%. This is slated to grow up to $10,000 and 37.5% respectively by 2021 and to 40% and $11,000 in 2022. Munster thinks the deferred revenue reporting is not a short-term phenomenon. Here's what he said. We disagree and think that FSD is a journey, not a destination, and that there will be a deferred revenue factor in perpetu perpetuity, the analyst uh, claimed. Now, no wonder Tesla's uh, software is an advantage because Tesla scores in OTA report card provides that not all vehicle software are created equal. Tesla scored A uh, in the OTA report um, card. Uh, Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radio reports saying amidst the emergence of connected cars, the idea of over-the-air updates has become more and more mainstream. This is due to in no uh, this is due in no small part to the rise of Tesla, which has made it mark in the auto segment by rolling out cars that could be improved over time through over-the-air updates that are downloaded through the internet. And now the electric cars are becoming more prolific. Traditional automakers are also dipping their feet on in vehicle software. In fact, this is one of the, uh, uh, one of the similarities between Ford Mustang Mach-E and Tesla Model Y, the over-the-air updates which I reported last night. However, as Loop Venture pointed out in a recent report that I just mentioned, not all over-the-air updates are created equal. The firm recently shared an OTA report card showing its rankings of vehicle software and unsurprisingly, Tesla tops the list with an A grade. The firm lauded Tesla for using its OTA upgrade capabilities to improve its vehicle's performance features such as its battery range, braking and driver assist functions. Tesla is the first in the list. As says, Tesla has offered OTA updates in all models since 2012. OTA updates affect key vehicle performance features, including battery range, braking and acceleration and autonomous system. BMW is in the second row with C plus grade. There is no B grade. Tesla is A grade. BMW gets uh, C plus. Uh, here's what uh, uh, says about the BMW's OTA upgrade. 
upgrades bmw offers ota updates in most models primarily around infotainment and voice assistant features limited uh, das advanced driver system uh, this advanced driver assistance system functions can be updated with otas as well gm gets c here is what gm offers ota capabilities in the 2020 cadillac ct5 built upon its new digital nerve electronic vehicle platform the entire gm lineup is expected to be ota compatible by 2023 volkswagen also gets c here's why currently offers Volkswagen offers minimal OTA updates in the company's ID series it expects all new models to be OTA compatible by 2025 investing heavily in its car dot software organization to bring more software development in-house Ford gets deep equipping most redesigned vehicles in the u.s which advanced over the air update capability this year mustang maki just i mentioned above 2021 and f-150 2022 will be first vehicles built on their company's new electronic platform mercedes-benz comes next in the list with another d so ford and mercedes get d Goal is for all vehicles to be OTA compatible in 2024 through partnership with NVIDIA and Hyundai, Honda, FCA and Toyota, they get F. And here's why. Offer lightweight OTA updates in some method. These, these brands, they offer lightweight OTA updates in some models. No clear target dates for comprehensive OTA capabilities so as you can see while other car makers like mercedes-benz volkswagen and toyota received low scores in loop ventures ota report card the firm noted that the rankings do not even show the full extent of legacy autos shortcomings in software this is because most automakers say uh, says uh, simon alvarez in uh, tesla radi simply use ota updates to improve a car's infotainment system which according to the firm does not add material value to the vehicle but if you notice tesla on the other hand offers um, uh, in all models ota updates affect key vehicle performance features including battery range braking and acceleration and autonomous driving now thanks to this the firm noted that tesla has a three to five year lead on the industry when it comes to offering meaningful software updates this together with tesla's existing and potentially widening lead in driver assist systems allows the company to become a leader in vehicle technology this could represent a potential for increased profitability as well with loop venture estimating that tesla would recognize about 1.1 billion dollar in deferred software revenue next year and about 1.5 billion dollars in 2022 like I said, uh, uh, Munster said, we estimate Tesla will recognize 1.1 billion in deferred software revenue in 2021, increasing to 1.5 billion in 2022, and representing material high margin revenue for Tesla that should loosely mirror operating income contributions. To put this into perspective, GM's operating income in 2019 was for five point four billion dollars and Ford's was five hundred seventy four million. In other words, Tesla's deferred revenue next year can account for about twenty percent of GM's operating income today and two hundred percent of Ford's the financial firm broad. So Tesla's software, particularly its um, uh, autopilot and full self-driving system which is being right now in beta tests you know that, that people are test driving uh, the full self-driving and reporting back to tesla is still a work in progress nevertheless simon alvarez reports in tesla radi the constant improvements to the software based function make both autopilot and full self-driving a lot more dynamic compared to their competitors on the market and this ultimately is one of the reasons why Tesla will likely maintain its A grade in Loom Ventures OTA report card for some time to come. I think so, friends. So what do you think? Let me know, please, in the comment section below. Uh, do you think Tesla's OTA updates are the best in the industry? And how do you think um, 
uh, when do you think the others will come close if you noticed in that card there is no b grade it's only a the only other competitor that got c plus um, is bmw which offers their ota updates offer most models primarily around infotainment and voice assistance features limited advanced driver assistance systems functions can be updated with OTAs. So BMW got C plus because it has that limited ADAS uh, system, which can uh, do some limited updates uh, to driver assistance system. The others that the GM, Volkswagen and Ford that got C, C and D, theirs just offer updates to infotainment, which like I said, don't add much value to the car. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. Please like this video if this was helpful and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story as you subscribe to our channel for daily test on electric vehicle news. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torchnews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell. And I'll see you in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you.